The leadership of any king in this community must benefit my existence. Else, this offer, the original offer of a king, will remain buried under the earth forever. Please uh, make yourself comfortable. Oh uh, my god. To tell me. Ah, it's New York City. New York? New York is good, cool, but you know, I don't want to talk about New York. I am black. Oh, oh my god, please, please. Make yourself comfortable. Let me get something. Okay. Alright. <laughs> you walk on back! You walk on back! Mother! Come in, man! Oh, yeah. Whoa. Oh, that's nice. The, the food is ready. Can I bring it now? Ujo, how many times will I tell you not to call me Nanya? Eh? I've advised you to be calling me Honey Sweetie. You call me Honey Sweetie, I call you Honey Sweetie. Eh? When will you learn this lesson? A simple matter. Give it a name here. We have already. Let's go now. There's fire on the mountain. Fire on the mountain? Yes. Put fire on the mountain. Hey, Okay, let me go. Yeah. 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 Yeah, Uju, when I come back, we crush this problem. It will end tonight. You understand? Yeah. 
If you call me on every like on it, I call you sweetie if you like sweetie. So when we bring guy me chat, I don't get me chat. When we be a come or come, he come or come. Mood, let's go. When you come back, you settle this with your wife on the bed. No, there's no problem. No problem. When we come, we trash that our own. Forget our own. You turn your own. Don't make a name, me chat, me chat. Are you telling me that he who told you, told you that our Igwe wants to ban on Maliko festival? Ah. Huh? He who told you, said with the same mouth he uses in eating yam and cook yam. He said that. In fact, he said that the, the whole elders have given the Igwe their support, except both of us. Uboda hapo na ala wengo ba hapo. Igwe is looking for trouble. Hi. Igwe is looking for the trouble that will consume him. Huh? How can he ban Omaniko festival that was established by our forefathers even before his existence? How can he do that? Tell me. Huh? Igwe is getting mad. Ala na aye. Igwe is getting mad. Ona aye ala. If not, he will understand that this same festival is a source of entertainment. Ana aju aju. Traditional people. Huh? And they gain a source of income to both international and local people. Are they new in you? Um, um, Odumud, let us lower our voices because the walls have ears. Which walls have ears? Who is afraid of the walls? We are not to go. I just want Naza. I just to go. What we are to go? Hey, we are not to go. He brought to go. Hey. You are talking about your relevances. I'm saying that Igwe has no right to ban all Maliko festival. Huh? Ogiri has one for festival. Mm -hmm. Who is festival? Yes. Even now, Moko and Odi have one festival. Then, Aaron D. Zogo, he festival. Uh -huh. Nobody has ever attempted to ban any of those ones. So, our Igwe cannot do it. It cannot work. Igwe will install. Let me ask you. Who installed him? Igwe? We do. We did. We did it. How can he go ahead to do such a thing without consulting us? Ni wo bodo. Eh? Hi. Wo bodo rapa la wengo babo. Wo bodo rapa la baga muzi na nguapo. Igwe just no agent can no work. Oh my man, as long as we are alive, eh? He cannot have. Can he get up one? Can he get up this time? Eh? Imagine wo bodo. I guess. I don't worry. I see a manager.
wonderful. But when I was coming, hearing your guinea, my mind told me that I'm going to meet youths who are rooted in our culture and tradition. Kwanu! Yes. What I even planned was for this rehearsal to be done in my house, where you eat Mpobi, Anunchi, Mbada, Mpwenu, Mpwene, Amechawa. Eh? What are we waiting for? Let us go to your house right away no, no, and continue no, no, with our practice. No. Not to worry. It will be organized. Hmm? Before that, we have a message we have brought. That message will come now. Use of Ikanga! Kwenu! Yo! Kwenu! Yo! Kwenu! Yo! I'm aware that you are practicing for Maliko Festival. Oh, Maliko. But I'm surprised that you have not heard. Had what now you to do? So you have not heard that Iwe conspired with some elders and abolished on Maliko Festival. The only festival we hold sacrosanct in this village. That is not possible. That is not possible. Not possible. Not. So you mean to tell us that you would fold your hands and watch you ban on Maliko Festival? God forbid! Oh Maliko Festival is sacred to this our town. And nobody will mess up with it. We won't allow anybody to try it. Not even the Igwe. We are going to have a meeting with him. If he fails to rescind the abolishment, the ban, then it will be indicative of a trouble he is planning. We're going to stop it. Now, nah, I suggest we go right away. I suggest we go right away to his palace and destroy his palace. So you know we are serious. No, 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 no. Hasn't come to that. We will be having a meeting with him tomorrow, and we are positive that he will change his mind. You see, we are positive that he will change his mind. I know you have the zeal, you have the zeal, but take it easy so you don't spoil things. Yes, the use, like he said, you have the zeal, the energy, the exuberance. In fact, the future leadership of this town is in your hands. But for now, Take it easy. Let's meet him first to bend him to make him change hmm? for the better. We'll go for now. Later, we'll give you feedback. But for the moment, you <laughs> know, Message for you. What you do? Over to you. When? Yeah. When? Yeah. First one. Yeah. 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 You all know that my father was the first to form a bar group 
in the spirit. Yes. 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 And the money he made from it, he used in training me. I have a question for all of you. Will you sit down, fold your hands, and watch the Igwe stop you from making money from the drum? No, 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 no. Come on, back. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. In that case, you must fight. When you are called up to fight. Now, I have a question. Yes. Is the Igwe mad? Why would you want to stop the Amalika festival? Why? Hello, hello, hello. When we go there, you put that question to the Igwe. Eh? But all we are saying is that the Igwe has no sole right to ban anything cultural or traditional in our town. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. That's what we're fighting for. Will you fight? Yes! yes. 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 Will you fight? Yes. 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 We will fight together! Yes. 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 I know who holds the tradition of this village on a high esteem. I think he wants to flake Moses. Moses and show how powerful he is. I don't think so. I don't think so. Do you go you and I know who banned the church activities in this village or in the name of preserving the tradition? Cannot do so. He can't. That shows how autocratic he is. Do you go can wake up one morning and ban anybody or anything he likes? I've told you. I don't want to talk about the I am hungry. And I want to go home. Yes. That is in Cheta. You're my friend now. Come on. You're my friend. Yeah, now, what will happen to me? You know, I'm relying on the money I'm supposed to make from the festival. To marry Amaka now, mm -hmm. Apaliwa. Apaliwa will put you in trouble. Why are you See, talking like this now? I've told you. I don't want to talk about the Igwe. Ncheta. Why are you talking like this? I want to go home. And I am hungry. That is all. Come. Let's go. Ncheta, Ncheta, wait now. You have to help me. Let us You go. have to help me. Okay, I will do that. Okay, let's go. It's about to rain. So you know. Listen to me, Mike. I don't know what is wrong with you. I don't know what you transformed into. But I want to let you know that this whole stuff is making me go crazy. Mike, you don't want to talk to me. You don't want to go nowhere. And all you do is lie down and sleep. Dude, I, I didn't mean to piss you off, but see a whole lot of things, a whole lot of things have changed about me. You need to get it. A 
whole life. Seriously, man. I can't comprehend this. Mike, you're doing well. You know, my brother, you lack nothing. You should be happy. Exactly my point. Exactly my point, dude. I ain't happy. Simply because you don't want to be happy, yes. You chose to be sad. Oh, dude, you, you just don't get it. You, you don't get it, do you? I, you think you know me, right? Like, seriously, you, you think you know this motherfucker sitting right here. But you don't fucking know me. Back in the States, I was doing so, so well. Like, seriously, pretty well. I hang out with the hottest, I mean, the hottest women in the city. I drive some of the hottest machines around. I, I party like almost every weekend. I fly first class. But I ain't happy. I ain't happy. Well, I think what you need now more than any other thing is marriage. Yes. Get married and have kids. Then you will be happy. I think you got a point there. You know, there comes a point in a man's life when he needs to pay more attention to his spiritual life than the physical. I don't think I pretty understand the point you're trying to make. My point is, a spiritual life is leaking. I need to patch it up. <laughs> Fine. If that's what you want, there are good churches around. You can just go out, search for one, you know, identify with one of the churches. Then you get registered as a, as a member. I believe that's going to make your life good, all right? As for me, I'm off for the party. You can take care of your spiritual life. Bye. Seriously? Okay, if you insist, no problems. Uh, Mike, meet Anne. She works with one of the best silicon companies in town. And Anne, this is Mike, my best friend and business partner. He's based in the US. Mike, Anne is the lady I told you about. She's decent, and as you can see, she's also very beautiful. Come on, not so fast. Take it easy, bro. Come on. Slow down. <laughs> easy. <laughs> oh, fuck. I think you're jealous. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Seriously? You're done. Okay. I'm gonna leave. Yes. <laughs> no, trust me. You're gonna go You know what? My hands are off me. Yes. Come on. Come on. Take your slow. You can just get the fuck out of here. Leave it. Come on. <laughs> no, oh, oh man, this motherfucker is so. Uh, he can be so annoying sometimes. Hi. I'm Mike. AKA Mickey. You know, I'm thinking with a lady like you, 
motherfucker like me ain't gonna be bored in this town. What do you think? Well, the thing is, you like girls the looks. Of course, but I, I ain't gay. You know, like I, I get my shit together. Oh my man, I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Why would you say that? Nothing. Just being curious. We'll see how it goes. We will definitely see how it goes. Hey, hey yo. This motherfucker right here, he told me a whole lot about you, but hey, I'm a grown up man, I gotta do my shit, right? So I'm thinking, you give me the opportunity to hang out with you, you know, we get to talk, get to know each other. What do you think? Fine. Good. So, when are you gonna be free? Um, say Saturday, by four. Is that okay by you? I don't know, like, you're thinking if it's cool, but I mean, if it's, of course it's, it's cool. Good. Okay. Cool. And Saturday it is. Oh, you are one sexy lady. I'll get you some of this. Champagne? I summoned you here today because you are the decision making body of Ikenga. Omaliko Festival is a festival we inherited from our ancestors. But in recent times, this festival has been marred by evil. But because it's an age long inheritance, I decided not to abolish it. But I was even thinking, okay, 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 Igwe, so you never intended that. But the moment, sit down and listen to what I have to say. No, but I was just concurring to what he said now. Concurring to what? What do you know that I have to say? No, the point he just made now, that's my concurrence. Oh, the I wonder. At times you make me believe I don't understand you very well. Are you now trying to teach Igwe how to speak? <laughs> oh! Oh! Are you Mr. No -O? What a wild statement. What an insult. People like you gave the impression that Ego wanted to ban Omaliko Festival. And we were trying to query why ban it without consulting personalities like us. Omaliko Festival has been banned because some undesirable elements in our midst has decided to use the festival as a club to perpetrate evil in the community. Hmm? They rob our people, especially those in diaspora. They kidnap the world to do. They rape our women. So I did not have to consult people like you to stop evil in this community. Omaliko Festival hereby stands banned and Igwe has spoken. Yes, I'm going out for a meeting now. Uh, let's prepare that type of yam you used to prepare for me. Eh? Yes, other vegetable and uh, you know now. Yes, Papa. Okay. How are you? I'm fine. My father is not around. He just left. But if you walk with me, you can meet up with him. I know. I saw him going out. But the truth is that I did not come to see him. It's you that I come to see. Me? Yeah. What for? It's because of uh, what I told you the other time that I love you, you know? And uh, I've never been sleeping since the last time I saw you. Even last night, I did not sleep. 
Because the verb say that the reaction of the body and the looking of the eyes is a mirror to soul. So please, come and enjoy the place of life with me. Give me a chance to prove my love to you. Yes. <laughs> Why am I? <laughs> Hi. Don't touch me. So, you are here this early morning to tell me you love me and you have not been sleeping because of me. Oh. Are you not ashamed of yourself? Are you not? Young men of your age are in the city struggling to survive and you're here going about with old men. Very soon you start poisoning me. Okay. Why are you doing this to me? After all, among all my mates, I'm the first in this village to go to the city. And let me tell you something you don't know. Those guys over there in the city, they're not making the kind of money we're making here in this village. There is money here. Just come and enjoy the place of life with me. You will never regret it. Please. Cheta, let me ask you. What do you even do for a living? Are you a farmer or a businessman? I do everything just for the money. Okay? No matter any condition, just have this for your soup. This is just the beginning. More. Have it. By the time I close out my job, I'll point water. Okay. Just get. I'll, I'll, I'll point water. But I'll not stop loving Cheta, you. I'll point water now. Chilling with an angel. What do you mean? I'll tell you. I know this rarely happens. I've known you for just a short while. But you've brought so much joy into my life. So much happiness. You've restored this peace in my life. Yeah, it makes me it makes me remember the good old days. I just wish this would last forever. Wow. I seriously don't know what to say. I mean, I do not feel anything short of what you feel. I just pray this will be for real. Like you'll be here with me forever. <laughs> Can I ask you for a favor? Sure. Can you accompany me to the village? Yeah, sure. When do we go and when do we return? Because I need to go back to work. Well, actually, I don't intend to get back. I don't understand. I want to operate from the village. I don't get you. Remember what I told you earlier on, man? I, I told you, I, I... I don't know, I've not been feeling myself since I got back. Even before I got back, I, I haven't been happy. You know, this sadness in here, it's just there. I don't know. Well, you said you found happiness since you came my way, so... I mean, yeah, um, what I'm trying to say is this, I have a calling, I've been called to save my people, I've been called to liberate my people, my people need me, their lives depend on me, now I can't be spiritually prepared for the warfare ahead, 
if I stay here in the city, I, I need to go to the village and prepare myself, you know. Jesus Christ. I can't imagine myself having such a conversation with you. You want to go to the village and serve your people. Fine. Wait, wait, wait. I know this. This sounds strange to you. Even me, I, I still don't get it myself, but the truth is, my life depends on this. If I don't do this, I may die. The gods have chosen me. The gods have chosen me. How? I don't understand. How? Imagine that fool asking me out. Me, Nkiruka. Hi! I have suffered though. I've suffered. Nkiru. I do not see anything wrong with Ncheta. It's just that you don't like him. I don't. I don't like him. Him and the... That's your husband to be. What is his name? Moses. Moses. They are jobless. Me. Which responsible young man will come and toast the girl very early in her father's house? When they are supposed to be walking. You mean he came to your house this morning? Yes, so. Ncheta came here very early this morning. Preaching love to me. Eh. Talking about how he, he, he loves me. <laughs> I should give him a chance to prove his love to me. Imagine. <laughs> and the one that pains me, like he pains me so much, is that he and Moses have I've turned my father and the mood to best friends <laughs> overnight. <laughs> What's funny? My friend, seriously, I do not see anything wrong with them making your father their best friends. I don't. You fool. <laughs> you big fool. Why would something be wrong when you're in love? What did you just say? Me in love? Do I look like someone who's in love? That reminds me, you know, Moses promised to pay my bride price after Omaliko festival. But now that Omaliko is not holding, I'm going to his house right now. I will tell him to either forget about me or do something about my bride price. He's good. Go and tell him. Let him pay. He must marry by force. So. Why are you always talking like this? You want to marry? I'm waiting for you, man. Move back, I'm waiting for you. Move back, I'm waiting for you. Move back, I'm waiting for you. So this is where you are? What is this? Is this not Gokoro? Moses! So you're here drinking and gambling when your mates are in the city? Making as, as much money as they can, Moses. You see this thing you're always telling me about Maliku? Let a Maliku festival hold. Let Maliku... See, let me tell you something. If you don't pay my bread price in two weeks, just forget about me. Calm down for what? Let them hear me. Let me shout. I will shout. Let them know that you're a jobless and a useless man. What kind of a man are you? So if all Maliku festival does not hold, you cannot pay a woman's bread price, eh, Moses? I'm, I'm warning you. I'm giving you just two weeks. If in two weeks you don't pay my bread price, then forget about me. Okay, I can explain now. Explain what? Explain. explain what? Every day you'll be playing gambling and drinking. I don't even know what. Just continue. Continue gambling and drinking. Idiot. I'm... Only two weeks. Two weeks like this. Gamble. Gamble. I have finished. What will I do now? When will I get... When will I get some money before two weeks? Huh? You think I say something now? Say something. Why keep it quiet? Look, Moses, I want you. Don't involve me. Are you not my friend? Don't involve me. You're my friend? friend. After all, your babe, Amaka, is telling my girl in Kiri not agree with me. So? So just go and sort your problem out with her. Play game, Jerry. Why are you talking like this now? Listen, let me tell you. Forget about these girls. They are certain companies, snipers. They will put you in trouble. All right. I'm not sure. Play game. Oh, so you understand me now. So what do you see? I think I saw a ghost. 
calm down. Can, can you just calm down and tell, tell me exactly what you saw? Huh? Like, I had such a problem. And suddenly, a certain carved image appeared before me. On the bed. It's a carved image. Yes. You very sure of that? Very sure. I'm dead. Ah. Relax and stuff. Relax. You mean it's nothing? I saw a ghost right up there in the room. And all you could tell me that is nothing? Mike, I'm leaving this house this minute. And I want you to go up there, get the stuffs. Hey, dude, hey, dude, come get. Can you just get back from this? Why are you acting like a sissy? Sit your ass down, dude. Sit. Freaking wild. Hey, if there was a ghost up there, of course I'd run. I'd run. I love my life. But there ain't no ghost up there. Calm down. Relax. Relax. I'll tell you exactly what you saw. What you saw up there wasn't a ghost. So, what did I see? You mean I actually saw Jesus Christ? Damn. Are you trying to tell me that I'm mad? Like so much to the point I can't place a name to what I saw. All right, I'll tell you exactly what you saw. What you saw was simply a representative of the gods. Yeah, exactly the same problem I've been having. Exactly what I've been trying to tell you about my spiritual life. I've been seeing the same carved image for a while, way back when I was in the states. Exactly. In fact, it got to a point I was so scared I didn't know what to do. I had to consult a wife friend of mine who has a debt insight in African religion and he broke it down to me. He broke it down for me. He told me everything I had to know about it. So, what exactly did he tell you? He told me that signs like this mean that I have been chosen by the gods. Yeah, I've been selected by the gods to serve them, the gods of my people, to serve my people, to fight for Ikenga. Our one successful business started to crumble. At that point, I knew it was because I was adamant to answer the call. I had to get back. Oh my God. Mike. Mike. Now that I've seen the gods, does it mean that I've been called to serve? You know, my dad was the chief priest of Ikenga before he died. So I feel I've been chosen because of same blood. If you have been chosen by the gods, you know. Oh, you will know. Come on, get your shit together. Go back to sleep. Hello? Guy Alpha? Yes, the Igwe has cancelled the Omali festival. Yes, I'm in the village right now. <laughs> no problem. I'll see you later. Hi. The Igwe has won my heart. Left for me, this Omaliko festival, this satanic festival called Omaliko, should have been abolished long time ago. I can why if I ask? You are asking me why? Are you not here in the village to see the crimes going on? All the killings every year? All in the name of Omaliko Festival? But you're right. I was even robbed in this village, last Omaliko Festival in this village. Oh, you see? After much pressure from my father to send him money last two years ago for Omaliko Festival, they robbed him and took all his money. But Ekene, if I may contribute to your discussion, I do not think there's anything wrong with Omaliku Festival. Eh? Let the Iwe deal with the problem of robbery in this community and allow Omaliku Festival to continue. This is the only period we make good sales in this village. Look, we're here talking about people's life and crimes going on in this village. And you're talking about making sales. Come that day and there's no Omaliku. I'll come to this bar and buy everybody I see here. Three bottles each. Who is that boy? Who is that boy talking rubbish? That is the boy. Eh? This is the boy here. Yeah. This boy killed his father. 
Mbaju son. He's fresh stupid. I heard that he's doing very well overseas. Hey, 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 come here. Come here now. Who are you? Where are you from? Eh? Why are you castigating a beautiful ceremony we have once in a while? Why? Nah, I'm only expressing my own opinion. Your as your what to express uh, OP what? OP junction. Oh she don't stop him. Give me a dirty slap. Mama Ola! Mama Ola! Nine! Why are you slapping me? What have I done to you? If you talk rubbish again, he will give you a different dirty slap. Look at you. His father, Mbacho. That miserable man, Mbacho, was a very useless man. I can see it. Who me. had never bought drink with his own money. He depicts the whole thing. Agatha. Agatha. Eh? I will not come to your bar again to drink. Look at you. You are here insulting my late father. Okay. Don't go. Let's go. Hey, nah, nah, dear, dear, dear. Please come and pay me my Save money. Save it to go. Now nah, you see what you cost now. Nah. You change my cost on my way. Eh? How much is he owing you? Let me pay you. Pay me for the one you are owing me first. Pay me. Eh? You promised to pay me eh, after my local festival. And now the Amaliko has been abolished. Pay me my money. Pick up. Pay me my money. Oh. Pay me my money. Pay me my money now. Pay. Hey. So it has come to that. Pay me my eh? money. Oh. Pay me. It has come to that extent that you grab the, the trouser of and you cheer. Nah, you are owing me too. You are owing me. Pay me! Pay me! Pay me now! Give me my money! Pay me! You have chased my cost my way and now you are telling me Pay me my money, because Why pay me! Why it has come to holding an elder? I don't care! I don't care! Pay me pay my money! Pay me! Pay me! Pay me! Pay me! Pay me! How much is that? Pay me! Pay me my money! Pay now! Why pay me now? I don't want to know. Pay me my money. That is what I'm saying. Pay now. Now, 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 now. Pay me. Okay. Because, uh, uh, why, why? You will be paid. Paid. Why won't I? Pay me, Biko. Pay I me. I will pay you. I am an engineer. I will never sell my house. I will never. Hold on. 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 Hold what do you want in my palace? Igwe, again. If I open my mouth and tell you what Odmodu is planning, you will leave this community overnight. Ochito, will you get serious and tell me what Odmodu is planning? Igwe, Odmodu is planning to kidnap you. After that, he throw you and make himself the Igwe. Ichi Ochito, watch your tongue. Are you sure of what I've just said? Do you realize the level of allegation against your fellow chief? Igwe, Odumod has concluded arrangements with the youth of this community. To destroy you! Hey! Hello. I cannot sit back and watch someone take what rightfully belongs to me. Because, in fact, Ichi Odori, I want both of you to go and summon Odumod. If he refuses, I'll send the guards to bring him here first. With mood, both guns and dynamites. Your life is in danger. Let's go. Oh, the mood. Oh, the mood. Okay, we shall see. Do you think uh, Chief Ututu uh, is correct in what he did by uh, reporting uh, Chief uh, Odumodu to Igwe? Is he not trying to mislead the Igwe? It is correct. But uh, I believe that he is also part of the whole plan. No, I don't get you. So why then did he report to Igwe if he's part of the plan? Betrayer, of course. Oh. So don't you know Ututu again? He did what he did in order to get favor from the Igwe. Mm. Mm. You remember that he is the same person who stood witness for other in our community and we lost our lives. I almost forgot. See, he did it before. Chief Otuto. Otuto. Nana, that man will never change. A chameleon personified. Let's be going anyway. I'll carry myself. Oh, tomorrow is a lot. That's the end of the world. Every time we're going to go. 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 Every time we're going to go.
to keep a close watch on Odumodu. Tell me what he does at every minute. I want to know all his plans. Ugwe, I shall do all you have just said. You see, let me be going so Just one minute. Igwe. This is for you. Igwe. Igwe, I will do exactly what you said. I will even monitor his bedroom. Anything he does, I will appear to tell you, see you. Did you come here to insult me? Did the Igwe send you here to come and insult me? Who is talking of insulting you? You are wanted at the palace. I am not going anywhere. I can only go there at my confidence. You are joking. Go and tell the Igwe that he cannot intimidate me. Who is he? Igwe. Who told Igwe he can play a god? Eh? Eh? Unada Obi. Odumodu, watch your tongue. He who the gods want to destroy, they first make mad. Look at the now. Everybody in this community knows your family is full of mad people. Your grandfather was mad. Your great grandfather was mad. And it was clear that you inherited madness at that point they died. It is your ancestors that are mad. Uh -huh. Your entire ancestors are mad. Why do you discuss about ancestors when we are talking of, of, of a very sensitive matter? What makes this matter insensitive? What makes the matter sensitive? Someone leveled a false accusation against me. You believed him. You believed him in total. You didn't ask important questions. Important questions indeed. You better follow us to the palace and then ask those questions yourself. Uh. Odumodu, uh -huh. <laughs> don't allow us to force you to the palace. Uh -huh. Hey! Don't allow us to force you to the palace. You force who? You Odunke Modu. Odunke Modu. Okay, wait. I'll be right back. Wait! Wait, Odumodu. He has just gone out. He's not in. Anything the matter. He has gone out, eh? Odumodu has gone out, eh? What? Uh, Let me tell you. If you like, you can hide him in your pot of soup. One thing I know is that he's going to pay me my money anywhere I see him. Tell him that. I thought um, Odumodu is your customer. Who is my customer? Pay you now, when he... Who is my customer? That your useless husband? Eh? I will disgrace him anywhere I see him. Tell him to start running whenever he sees me because I am going to seize anything I see on him, including his red cap. Tell him that. Bia, Agatha. So, you have the gods, eh? You have the gods to stand before me and call my own husband useless. You're a very stupid woman. Agatha, Is your husband not a useless man? Oh. Eh? Okay. Okay, Fuega, you see that money? He will not pay you. Because if he did pay you that money, this house will not contain the two of us. Useless woman. Over my dead body. Will he pay you that money? Then I'll be able to prepare to die. Because he has finished paying me that money. Oh. He will pay me that money. I have fun. Look, start digging your grave right now. Because he's going to pay me that money in your present. Okay. Okay. We'll see. Look at this useless woman that killed her husband. Okay, is your plan to kill my own, eh? Oh man, Lelugi. If record, I'm a man. They are keep one of them. Useless woman that killed her husband. Uh -huh. You want to come and kill mine? <laughs> oh man, Lelugi. Odumodu, you're a disgrace to yourself, not to me. Ah, you 
useless man like you. Am I the only one owing in this community? Am I the only person? You see that money, you will not pay Agatha that money. Hey, you will not pay Agatha that money because if you pay Agatha that money, it will be me and you in this house. Why should I pay her? Why should I pay her after all the insult she heaped on me? I'll not do that. Can you imagine? She stood before me to call my own husband useless. Ah, uh, you will not pay her that money. But Uju, I must say I'm proud of you. By what you did, you've proved that I'm a real husband to you. I'm happy, I'm happy. Anyway, have you finished eating? Uh, yes, yes, I've finished. I've finished. Uh, let me prepare and go to Igwe's palace. You know, he's someone me. Let me go and see the Igwe. Now, if you get to the Igwe palace, be very careful. You have to think before you talk. Would you be closer? You have come again. All the time I was going there and other places. Where is the person thinking and talking for me? Mm -hmm. You have come again though. Mm -hmm. Don't give me such advice. Mm -hmm. I'm a marvelous worker. He will go no worker. Oh, Rugo and Kemi will go worker. You are now a man. When it comes to your wife, you are a man. Come on, I got that I just left here and you could not come out and confront her. Mm -hmm. Don't give me such advice. Agatha, you cannot face her. When you come to Odeanu, you bring water. Come on, Agatha, you cannot face her. Ah, what you doing, little boy? Hey, the most, the most, you care. I was going to your house. Hope all is well. I can't say all is well or not. All I know is that there is an allegation against me at the palace of the Igwe. So I want to go and see him. Yes. As a good friend, I want you to accompany me. You must now go for your Oh, yes, it is true. It is true. I'll go for your Fulubeke. But I doubt if I can accompany you because right now I am going to Zodima's house. Who's Zodima's house? Yes, who's Zodima. Uh, who is she going to your house? They want to go to Nobody. Place? Only that my wife had miscarriage. But there's not this. Collect. It's not the way to the member's house. It's, it's not the way. Ah, it's true. You don't blame me. You see, you know you are supposed to know the mass house because your wife had the highest number of uh, miscarriages in this community. Uh, please, is that a joke or what? Uh, if you say joke, it's a very costly one. Very costly joke. If you do it next time, I'll be angry with you. I'm sorry if you're angry. I'll be angry with you. So far you're angry. I won't do it again. Good morning. You have not answered my question. Did you or did you not plan to dethrone me and become the new king? Igwe, when does the struggle to retain our tradition become a plan to remove you from your throne? I wonder. Eh? do my do. Enough of your gimmicks. <laughs> Just answer the simple question. Oh. Are you the only one who loves our tradition? Are you innocent of all these allegations or not? Or do you mean to tell me that I, Igwe Ojimbo, do not have the right to ban or suspend what I think is not right? Igwe, let me repeat myself once again. My plan is targeted to retain our tradition which the people cherish so much. The people without tradition are like maidens without breasts and buttocks. Wow. In fact, as I speak right now, our people are mourning this ban inflicted on our tradition. How will our people mourn without you instigating them? I know you, and I know your antecedents. But let me tell you, I, Igwe Ojimbo, I am smarter than you. All Maliko Festival remains banned until further notice. Igwe. Moses, Moses! Ha. Your face is not bright. What happened? Injeta. Somebody should go and warn Igwe. Somebody should go and warn Igwe, or else I do something nasty in this village. I mean, I still can warn him ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Who are we to go and warn Igwe? Eh? What has the Igwe done again this time? What is the problem, Moses? Injeta. How am I supposed to get the money to pay my cat's bride price? Eh? Let them warn him, he should better leave the ban on Omaliko. Or else, you have me 
Moses to contend with in this village. Mm. But what did I tell you? I told you that we should strike. And you declined. You left it doing it. And now you're talking about the evil. Listen, Ncheta, I am ready to do anything. Anything at all. Provided equal equal is involved. I have to pay Amaka's bride price now. Beautiful. Now you come. You're Tell me. Do Ncheta, what do we do now? What do we do? Sit down. I should sit down. Yes. Sit down and drink. I have plans. I should sit down. See, you don't have to worry. But you know, I need your body for I yeah, know, man. but I don't want that yeah. Alewa to put you in trouble. But I love her. You know how much I love her now? Let us plan so that we can go what ahead. Drink! But you know how much I love her now? I know. Okay. But we should not allow Alewa to put us in trouble. There are certain companies. Hey, where, where is the money? Yeah? I don't where, have where is the money? I don't have any money. Ask my wife. Yeah? Madam, yeah. yeah. tell your husband keep his money. No, no. Yeah? I, I, I don't See, know where. I am going to rape you if you like to. Chimo, hey. Actually, where is the man? I don't know. I don't know where he hides his okay. money. I don't know. Did you see any smile in our face? But I'm not looking at your face. Beautiful. If you don't give us the money now, not only that we're going to rape your wife, we will cut her with this magic. Please, if you like, rope her. Yeah. You know, this one, you can even kill her. Yeah? I'm telling you the truth. I don't have any money. See, you ask my wife. I don't. I, I don't work. I don't have no job doing. I'm not working. Ask her. So they should rape me. Hey, Maybe they should kill me. Hey, you're a wicked man. Who can look at the cable? I'm a brother. I said, why did you shut up? We are brothers. Say brother. Brother. Say brother. Oh yeah. Show us the money. Why? Now move the money. Move it. All right. Is that all? Is that all? Alright, lie down. He did what he have in this house. I swear. Because if I venture to search and get a die in this house, oh God, I'm going to match at you with this cutlass into pieces like a goat. Then you will know that we are the rugged righteous men in this village. There is no money, please. Are you sure? No more than money. Yeah? We were sure. No more than money. Don't get just. One day shall never end. Hey. I'm telling you. Hey. I couldn't believe my head that Ichi Odumod could have an atom of fear in him. Huh? Hey. Did, did you see the way he was beating his wife? When he can comfortably steal people's millions. That is not even the issue. Could you imagine that he is even able to allow his wife be raped because of money? Apparently, what? Hey, what, hey, what? Hey. That man is deadly. I'm telling you the truth. This will be But you see. They say, come here, I know, but people talk that. Uh, oh, yeah, be Oh, yeah, be cool. So, we better manage this little one we have. Not until we won't have enough money for ourselves so that we can now plan ahead. <laughs> Are you coming from this early morning? Madam, my sister, I went to each other uh, Udumodo's house. You know he has not paid me that money now. That's when you went to each other Udumodo's house. I hope all is well. Ada, you see, each Udumodo said he's going to pay me my money after Omaliko festival. And now that the festival has been abolished, I wonder when he intends to pay me this money. Eh? Me, I'm tired of his cock and bull story. Come today, come tomorrow. Yes. Me, I'm tired, though. Are you saying he hasn't paid that money till now? Or is there any other business altogether? Are you not hearing what I'm saying? I said the chair Odumodo has refused to pay me my money. Eh? I knew it. Haven't you heard? Heard what? Odumodo and his group are responsible for all the robbery in this village. 
especially all my liquor festival where people do come home in their numbers. Eh? Mm. Are you sure of what you say? And I think that is why Igwe banned it. I'm very sure. You don't need this thing. Mm -hmm. I mean it. No, no, no. Come, come, come. Come, come. Hey, go so that you tell I me will more. Tell you more. Hey. Relax. You don't need it. Hey. hey. So this is what has been happening in this village. Hey. Now you're the mood. Now you're the mood. my friend and I have worked for you and the church so, for five good years. Yet, nothing to show for it. Make your point. What are you talking about? Eh? As you can see, I, uh, I'm in mourning over the money I lost. People are coming here attending to me. So make your point. Let me hear you. So I begin to attend to other people. Now you're the mood. We did not come here to say sorry to you. We came here to tell you that me and my friend Moses want to get married and we have no money. Moses has only four days to pay for market breakfast. Or do you want him to lose her? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Am I your father? I'm asking, am I your father? Or did your father send me money to keep for you for marriage before he died? Huh? I've made the point that I am into money. I lost money. They came and robbed me in this house of 250,000 naira. And that was the money sent to me by Michael from America. Eh? Can't you come and run, run with me in my situation? Talking about getting married. What's my business in your getting married? Nah, Yodimod. You're provoking me. Stop provoking me now, Yodimod. Stop provoking me. Who's 250,000 naira are you talking about? Eh? Which Michael send you money? Uh, 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 is it not uh, uh, 10,000? Do what? 10,005. So two of you did it. So two of you are armed robbers. You get the money and stop. Stop. You get You give me that money. I leave you. I should have done. What did I do to you now? Oh, he's gone. What did I do to you now? Oh, for the piano. I will take you around the whole village leave and get that you are armed robbers. Leave me. Oh, for the piano. Now leave me. I have seen those who came and stole money leave from me. my house. Leave me. So. Look at you and drop out of here. Okay, do you know I'm so upset with him? Why? Why would he ban Omaliku festival? The only festival that brings in handsome looking guys into this village. I was thinking I'll, I'll meet some of these our boys from the city and settle down with one of them or even hang on with this Moses of a guy. But right now, nobody is coming from anywhere. And Moses will not even afford my bride price if this festival does not hold. My friend, my friend. Yeah. Oh, this is marriage by force. Hmm? As for me, oh Maliko, or no Maliko, I don't care. I am here in my father's house. And I am happy. When time is to marry, I marry. You, you don't care. Me, I care. I care so much because this Omaliku festival is supposed to allow those fine fine boys to come to this village, eh? To even bring people that have money. It's okay, oh, where to all be? Ah. Ha. Anyway, your plan may still work, oh, because my father said that the villagers are planning on a protest. What kind of protest? A protest, you know, like people will not go to markets, they will not go to farm, and you we will have no choice. These things will just stop for a while. Hey! I just hope this will be enough to make the Igwe change his mind. Igwe should change his mind, no. Me, I cannot afford to lose a Maliku festival. I cannot. <laughs> what is funny now? Nothing. Ah. The king has reneged in all his promises. I have been waiting for him, believing he will change. But no, he refused to change. When a king emerges, certain royalty is paid to the kingmaker. What did I get from making him king? Nothing. Igwe, 
Zemo is here to see you. Hold him over. He who does not know where the rain start beating him probably won't know where it will stop. Greed is the bedrock of self-destruction. There's a more. You're speaking in riddles. The gods leave my presence at once. There's a more sit down. Did the gods give any message for me? Igwe Jibwa, you promised me that when you become Igwe, you will pay me good money for the rest of my life. But up till now, I am yet to get one kobo. As a mom, you came to my palace early this morning to remind me of what happened some years ago. Igwe, you are a greedy man. And let me tell you, you wound. You are the greedy one, as a mom. You knew I was the heir apparent to the throne of a king. But you chose to delay it so I could pay. And you also realize that I'm still the king of a king. And I can demand for your removal. <laughs> Igwe. You are sitting on the throne of Ikenga without showing full appreciation and paying royalty to he that made it possible. I cannot pay for what is rightfully mine. The offer of Ikenga belongs to me. And that is what the tradition says. <laughs> Ojimbo, the okra tree does not grow taller than the owner. And any tree that refuses to bow to the forces of nature will eventually be blown up by the wind. You are the king, but I am the king maker. You don't know anything about your father Ikenga. I do not feel threatened by your rantings. I am still the king of Ikenga. And nothing can change that fact. As a more, if you have anything to say, say it now. to farm and market. My sister, this has not happened before. At all. What concerns our farm and festival? The king guy is in trouble. But how can Igwe abolish this our sweet festival? It's quite unfortunate. I'm going now. Bye bye. What I want to hear from you is the truth. Anything short of the truth, you'll be banished from this community. 
Now tell me, who authorized you to make that announcement? It was Icho Tito. Icho Tito? Impossible! Now, are you telling me that Odumodu did not authorize you to make that announcement? Igwe Icho Tito paid me 500 naira. Uh -huh. Yes. What is happening here? Which Icho Tito? Igwe, I had thought Icho Tito was on her side. But didn't I tell you that Icho Tito cannot be trusted? You said so, my dear. I must put a stop to this nonsense. Else they will run my power down as the ego of this community. You, from today, you cease to be the town crier. If I ever catch you, read my lips. If I ever catch you, you'll be sorry. You, you, take him out. Hello. Take him out. Hello. Hello. Information Minister. No, the mood. You're a great messenger indeed. I had the sound of your tongue. In fact, the message was loud and clear. But the people of Oba and Dioka said they didn't get your message. What happened? No, the mood. I was on my way to those places before the Igwe's guards now arrested me and took away my gong. I arrested you. Was Igwe out of his mind? No, the mood. The only thing I must tell you now is that Ututo is not your friend. And you should be careful about that man because he's your enemy. What are you talking about? Ututo, my good friend, turning to my enemy? How can that be? No, what is Ututo that, that arrested you? Let me know. Now you know. I've said what I've said. You how can Otuto, my very close friend, now turn to be an enemy? As never want a neighbor, quiet Luaka Nianoria Imanan Nianne It is you who fed the termite infested firewood that invited the lizard for a feast. But what have I gained from serving Ikenga all these years? Nothing. The last Igwe almost turned me into his slave. And Igwe Ojimpo is towing the same line. But as long as the Ofo Ikenga remains buried under this earth, any way that emerges in Ikenga will die after three years. A man who commits suicide, let him become an outcast in the land of the spirits. Ikenga will know no peace. Ha! <laughs>
secret for some reason. Don't worry about it. I'll take it. I believe you, bro. Ceremony without our knowledge. Mbazo, what is happening outside? It's for the mode. What to talk? And the youth. They are protesting outside. What do they want? Have a look at this. They want the Omalika festival to hold. Impossible. Never. Go back out there and stay with them. I shall come to see them. I forbid you. Ikenga Kwenu! Ikenga Kwenu! Oh! It's a conspiracy. I can see that. Well, I will tell you one thing. I am your king. And I am not afraid of any of you. I believe the decision I took to stop Omaliko Festival. It's for the good of all of you here. So, I advise you to go home. Go home to your families. For what you're demanding is impossible. 
My stand in this matter is final. No! 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 Did you see how he came out and arrogantly addressed the situation? No respect, no honor, we shall be here in defiance of the Iwe until he reverses his decision. Someone, or are you missing your way? I'm missing my way. Oh, are you nuts? In my dad's grave, who, who the fuck are you? Please don't be offended, though. This is my husband's house, and I think I have the right to. Your, your husband's house? Oh, you mean your Odomoto's wife? Mm. Oh, really? My, my brother's wife? All right, cool. Go get him. Where is he? Go get him. Sorry, my husband is not around. He has gone to the Igwe's palace. Igwe's palace? Mm. What the fuck is going on there? All the villagers are at the Igwe's palace. They are protesting the ban of uh, Omaliko festival by the Igwe. What? Mm. Wait, 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 wait. Did I just hear you correctly? Mm. Omaliko festival. He, he wants to ban Om. What the fuck? Is it, has, has he gone nuts? Huh? Omaliku Festival is bigger than the king. It's bigger than everybody in this community. He can't can do this. Is he crazy? Oh. Oh, all right, fine. Just get me out of order. Huh? Let's go. I got my luggage. I got my luggage in the car. Guess what? Yes. I want to ask you a question. I hope you won't be offended. Oh, no, my daughter, I won't. Papa. Why are you deceiving yourself? Why are you causing havoc in this town with your friend Odumod? Is it because Mama is no more alive? What kind of protest is this? That people should not go to farm or, or, or go to markets? Mm. So you are grown. You are grown to stand before me and talk rubbish. Okay. Do you know that I'm your father? I feed you, I pay your bills. Look, if you believe that you are an advisor, go and marry and advise your husband. But I've just given you an honest advice. Stop deceiving yourself and, 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 and don't allow old mode to keep deceiving you. Kiru, hey! Yes, sit 
Mike, I called you so we can talk. I'm happy you came back. I'm happy seeing you. But I had thought you were dead. In fact, if not for the letter you sent informing me about your whereabouts, I concluded that you were dead and I wanted to bury you. But I didn't have money. That's what happened. I'm glad you didn't do that. If you did, I would have kicked your black ass. I'm not sure. You see me. You see me. Mr. Fly. I know. I I'm good. Yeah. I can see you're good. You're good. You're good. But, Mike, please. I want to know when will he go back to America? America. Like, seriously? What, 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 what's your problem, old man? Huh? He told me, he said you were happy to see me. And the next minute you're chasing me away. I don't get it. I'm not chasing you away. I just want to know, when will you go back to America? Well, I ain't going back. I hate, I hate to stay in my village. Okay, and if you think I, I want to take our father's plots of lands, hell no, you can keep all of them. I'm cool. I'm just good. Let me tell you one thing. This town is my town. I have lived here for ages. I know every corner of this town. Those who are bad who can kill, I know them. Here, they rob. Armed robbers are everywhere. They poison, they kill people, even kidnappers. Yes. So when do you when do you want to go back? I don't want you to fall a victim. You know what? I know about all that. Seriously, I'm aware. And I'm back to change all that. The gods have sent me to liberate our people. Liberate which people? Liberate all you want? Me, right here, my I'm, I'm I'm aware of all that. You know, I'm just gonna say right now, thank God for my white friend, Mr. Chuck. He opened my eyes to see clearly. He told me categorically clearly that our gods are powerful. And right now, sitting right here, I can see that our gods are so, so powerful. Let me tell you, Michael, that your wife friend told you a lie. But you must have said that to scare you away from the country. Michael, open your eyes. If you want to worship the gods of our ancestors, you tell me. I package them in a bag. You carry and go back to America and worship. Or whatever happy happy, happy and keep moke, happy and keep wine. The peace and can get a fuzzy. I package them in a bag. You carry and go back to America. But you have to live here. When are you going back? Uh, you know, you know what, old man? I am sick, sick and tired of all this. You see, I'm back. I didn't choose myself. The gods chose me just as they chose my father. So I'm going traditional, straight up. And you see my ride over there? Mm -hmm. Over there, my ride. You can keep it. Huh? Yeah, I can keep it. I can keep the car? Yes, you can keep the car. And if you want, like some of these, uh, you can look fly like me. Beautiful. I'll fix that. But for me, I am signing out to serve the gods of my people. Uh, Michael, Michael, wait, wait, wait. See, I appreciate your gift mm -hmm. but whether you like it or not you must go back to america is it wrong for me to have a brother in america hey ubuda hapala wapo i said ubuda hapala yena wapo really you know i think i've heard this before ubuda hapuna ala wena wapo you know what fuck you Fuck you, Allah. Fuck you, Abu. I don't give a damn. Mike! I'm out of here. It's not getting it. Move for a call, my old Bodo. For a call, Allah didn't name you. Then for that, for a call, I'll wait for a call. For a call, Mike. You're not going to. I'm so good at no one. Move for a call, old Bodo. For a call, Allah. For a call, Allah. Try one of these? I oh, know. Uh, thanks. I'll use my toothbrush. Sure. Yeah. Alright. You good? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Alright. You know, this reminds me of the good old days. Yeah. You know, I, I grew up right here. We used to play right here and use things like this. And my mom, my, my mom, she would be like, yeah. Are you sure you want to stay in this village? Of course. Of course. I, I ain't got nowhere else to go. This is my hood, my, my, my place, my, my father's place, you know. I, I, I grew up here before I, I moved to the States, so I'm like back home now. Back home. 
I know. But it's not just comfortable here. It's not. I can't use the toilet because it's paid. See, I could not sleep at night because of the mosquito bites. Oh, babe. You, you remember the promise you made to me? You told me, you promised me you were going to be with me. You were going to love me and you said, anywhere I go, you're going to be there, so. I know. I said so. And I still love you very much. But I can't help it. It's not just comfortable here. I thought we were supposed to stay in a hotel or something. Mosquito bites all over my skin. Look at eh? Mosquito has dealt with me since we came here. <sighs> okay, uh, I'll fix it. All right. I promise I'll fix that. Come in. I'll fix that. I just told you I'll fix that. Huh? Anything else? No. Sure. It's just that I'm pressed now. Uh -oh. See, I'm pressed now. We toilet like this. It's all pit, pit, pit now. Uh -huh. Don't act all jelly like with me. Back in the days, we, we used to do it in the bush. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll, I'll, I'll fix it. I'll fix it. Uh -huh, Ekene? No. As I've been telling you, it starts from here. Mm -hmm. And it ends where that tree is. That last tree there? Yes, the big one. Okay. Yes. Um, as you can see, it's a very big land that can contain any kind of house. You understand? Nine. It's quite big. But I still need to compare with the other lands. The other land? Yes. Okay. Let me take you there. Let's go. It's your nana. Ah. <laughs> oh, Tito. <laughs> we all know that one does not see you in the farmland. Except you want to sell land. Do you, want, do you intend to sell this? Now? Ah. <laughs> oh, Tito. If I don't sell my lands, I cannot pay my children's school fees. Hey. And this is how I've been doing it. Okay. Since you cannot pay your children's school fees unless you sell a piece of land, please remember me. Tell me when he pays. So it is important to partake in the in the traditional killing of goats. I mean, <laughs> e we are talking of e selling land. You are talking of a e e goat, goat. Eh? I will call you. Uh, he promised to bring money when next he comes. So I must inform you. You see, you are free. You are lucky. Because your father has so many lands here and there. So you are free to sell them and make your money. Oh. But it is important you remember me. Oh! <laughs> oh, Tito, Tito. I want to ah! this one. Must you say everything you see? <laughs> huh? Okay. I have told you to stay away from this local cooker. Eh? You don't know how to do it. Mm, you see, I've been trying to bring it up. It refused to come. I've been trying since so I've tried it. It refused to come up. <laughs> oh. Uh, just wait, eh? I will teach you how to do it. Inugo. I'm not interested. I don't want to learn. What what is there for me to learn? I'll go and get the gas cooker. Gas again? Yes, I won't go through this again. I will know that and Biko. I don't want gas cooker in this house. I don't want to burn my husband's house. Inugo? Mm -mm. No gas cooker in this house. Please. And see, who is talking about burning of house? It's very simple. I will teach you. But going through this again will not happen. I will not go through this again. It's so difficult. See, you know my body smelling smoke. See, see, oh my body smelling smoke. For what? For what? Yay. City girl. <laughs> Hey! Why is your mother?
quadrada. Mãe, o que você quer? Eu não just understand you. Você disse que você quer matar seu uncle. So how do you want me to move around this village? Can you just can, can, can you just put your voice down? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think. Yeah. Hey, that ain't no big deal. Dude right here, here's my uncle. All right, he did a lot of things for me before I left. So can you just calm down and listen to me? He did a whole lot of things for me before I left this country. All right, but I gave him the right. You want to use the right? Fine. I'll tell him. He'll give it to you. You drive around. Cool. Uh, please. I try to understand. Understand what? Understand what, Mike? Listen, I did not bargain for this. So what did you bargain for? You promised you're going to take care of me. Is this how you're taking care of me? Uh, oh, oh, okay. What? Leave me alone. <sighs> Fine. I'll leave you. Just listen to me, all right? Uh, okay. My bad. Forgive me. I promised you a whole lot of things. I'm still going to keep to my promise. I right? just. I don't know. I, th I think I know what I'm doing. Just give me time. Time. You want me to give you some time? Yeah. Time. Fine. I'll give you the time. Do you know what annoyed me most? He said the white man told him that our own gods were more powerful than theirs. <laughs> Is it possible? Imagine our gods that know only how to kill and prepare potent poison. How can he compare our gods to the gods of the white man? Who created aeroplane? Many things mysterious that we cannot explain. The thing our gods know how to do is to create powerful medicine that can go and kill and not to save life. That is all. You know what I'm thinking? No. Michael has gone mental. Michael gave me his car and preferred trekking the whole village. Eh? Can you imagine that? That is a good omen. How? You know you have been complaining about your wife. Uh -huh. You can now sell that car and marry as many as ten wives, if you so wish. You know you gave me a good suggestion. Michael Capelon has the high value that can even buy 20 cars. Eh? I'm going to do it. <laughs> You're going to come to my house to drink because of this suggestion. Why not? I will, yeah? I will be there. I will be there. Oh, oh penalty. Yeah? <laughs> Who is here? Who is in the house? Who is in the house? Thank you very much. Where's Moses? Moses. Yes, Ginger. Hmm? I want you to carry out an assignment for me. You will be guiding my house until Michael goes back to America. Your house? Yes. I'm giving the two of you this assignment because two of you are the only people who will have the guts to rob my house. Uh, but tonight. The mood. Uh -huh. Who will pay us now? Because we need our balewa. You or Michael. Thank you very much. Yeah. Carry out the assignment first of all. At the end of it, you come to me. To you. I will take care of that. Huh? And I'm... My argument is this. South or north, home is the home. <laughs> that is for you. As for me, eh? if this my two legs touch America, I will never come back to this village again. Mm. Yes, no. So you don't want to marry America again? <laughs> America first. <laughs> home is still the best. Ah, dude is right. No place like home, babe. I'm telling you, home is the best. Michael, home is not the best. Home is where people who hate others kill and poison them. <laughs> Hmm? To arrange to go back to America. Hmm? Now you're the mood. Home is still the best. Who asked for your opinion? If home is the best, what have you achieved? Tell me. By the way, what are you doing here? Uh, now you're the mood. Shut up your mouth. What are you doing here? <laughs> Dude, what's your problem? Huh? You're actually embarrassing my friends right here. My homies, my dogs. You're starting to piss me off. They are not your friends. They are your guards. 
I employed them to catch you. So go in and allow them to resume their duty. Oh, look, I, I, I gotta make this clear. I don't like this. I mean, what, what, what's your problem? You know, like back in the day, you used to be so receptive. You know, like a homie, you know, we're cool. Right now, I just, I just don't know. Your, your attitude these days is completely barbaric. Thank you very much. Allow us to be barbaric. Hmm? All I'm doing is just to save your life. So leave us to do our duty. So, where are your guns? Where are your machetes, bows and arrows? Where are they? It's you, the mood. We don't have guns. You don't have what? Don't have guns. But when you robbed me in this house, you came with guns. So where are the guns? No, the mood. We didn't come with, we didn't come with any guns. Nchata, do we come with any guns? At all. How do you do your job then? If there's no gun, will you go and get the guns and do your job? If it's going about to rob people, you need nowhere where to go and get guns. But you go and get your guns. You look here. Go and get your guns and you resume the chain. Move your hand, follow me. Move your hand, follow me. Just punch you. Move your hand, follow me. Does it mean that I don't have the right to suspend? or ban Omaliko festival. I am the king and will stop anything that is not good to my subjects. The age groups, town union, even Ikenga people in diaspora has been calling to lift the ban. I think I should listen to them. Anyway, Omaliko should go on. <laughs>
the Omali Festival will not hold. We are having low turnout. He must pay for it. He must pay for it. We will deal with it. He wants to be in front, behind, all sides. No, it no cannot happen. happen. It cannot happen. Huh? It okay. cannot happen. Yep. Where are you going to dress like this? Or the Panam? Yeah, I just wanna go into the bush to get some herbs. Hey, you wanna go with me? Sure. Ah, I'll just go quickly. Who is here? Agatha! 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 Yeah. <laughs> here she comes with those wonderful seductive steps. Yeah. <laughs> Come along now. You tell the mother I just can't pay me my money. Which money? 3,000 naira. So because of 3,000 naira, you came to my house and almost pulled off the roof. Why won't I pull down your roof? Because Why? of how much? Only 3,000 naira. Mm -hmm. I've come to give you something more than 3,000 naira. Yeah. Just see, just see. Hey! You know what you do? What? Just dance for me. I power. Eh? Yeah. Ha! Mm. Oh, hey. oh, hey. hey. What? Hey. Friendly hey. hey. yeah. I'll give you it. Hey! hey. Wait, no, 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 don't call it. Oh, do that one. Just lay emphasis on the chicken. Hey, oh, get me. Look for the water. People didn't know. I'm just this one. I'm now a discoverer. Hey, hey, hey. 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 Just look at the way money has transformed you. Agatha, eh? money has Please, come. Spend it, spend it. And I've no, come no. here to spend it with you. Hey, with me. No, no. shake your foot. Hey, well, well. Shake your bum bum bum. Spread it, spray more, spray more. Shake okay. it, come on. Again, eh? Where are you going to go? Hey, hey, hey. Over the new one. I come up by money to turn. Hey, okay. spread it more. The more, the more. The more, the more. The more you shake, the more I spray. The more you shake, the more I spread. I, I can even begin to slap you with money, twist it, wriggle, whine it. Who will whine that? Hey! Anne, Anne, wait now. Uh, you cannot just sleep like that. Can I be cool? At least wait for him to come back and say, I cannot. I can't stay back here. I can't stay back here because how do you expect me to resign from my lucrative work and come stay here with one native doctor who is hardly around? How do you expect me to do that, Auntie? At least just wait for him to come back. Then you can explain all this. Hey, my dear, you know Michael loves you so much and he can do anything for you. <laughs> Auntie, I can't stay back in this village. I can't. He knows where I stay. He knows how to get me. If he truly loves and cares for me, he will look for me. Don't bother yourself, Auntie. Hey, Anne. Anne is not fair, oh. Anne is not fair. How can you just live like that? Eh? Auntie, see. Come. Do you know what you do for me? Take good care of yourself and be happy. As for me, I need my happiness. I seriously need to go. Bye bye. Auntie. Of yourself, what will I tell Michael when he gets back? What will your mother have? Where did she go? Huh? For Christ's sake, I'm asking you, where did she go? She didn't tell me, she just carried her bag and left. Well, obviously, she didn't tell you because you didn't bother to ask. Yeah. But how could you? 
someone I, I bloody left under your care and you, and you left her to, to leave like that, huh? But I, 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 I asked her several years, she, she wouldn't say. Oh. Hey, just hold it right there. That's enough. Hey, I'm going to watch you. Something I want to tell you, but I don't know how to start. Yeah. It seems someone is asking your hand in marriage. Ha. No, I'm not ready yet. You're not ready yet? Okay. Mm hmm. Um, Papa, it's been some years I left secondary school, and every time. I tell you about jam form. She will say he don't have money. Now they are, they are selling jam form again this year. I, I want to buy the form so that I will write the exam and enter the university like my mates. Uh, Giru, Papa. I have said it so many times. My concern in your life now is that you get married. Get married! If you get married, if your husband likes to train you in heaven, oh, if he wants to train you in the sea, anywhere wants to train you, but my concern is get married. Is it a crime? If I have a, a, a rich in-law, eh? I see my mates, their, their in-laws build houses, buy cars, buy all kinds of things. Every day you come to tell me about jump, jump for. I'm not interested in that. Get married. Get married. Husband. Husband. I'm not that nice for you. I'm just a condition. I'm just a man for jam. After training you, the man will just carry you. I will be forgotten. No, no. I will not be part of it. Hang on, I, I didn't mean to scare you. Huh? A lady? Oh, what are you doing here all alone? A wise one, I came to fetch firewood, but there's nobody here to help me put it on my head. Uh-uh. 
Uh, you know, my eyes have never seen such beauty in my entire life. I'm telling you, even the gods can testify to that. Do you mind if I ask your name? My name is Nkiwuka. Mm. Nice name. Uh, can I have the honor of taking this home for you? Please? Oh, no. Um, please help me put it on my head. I can carry it. No, 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 no. no. Hang on. I'll do that for you. I got a lot of things about it. Uh -huh. Okay. You. I've never seen such a humble man in my life. Ah, come on. It's, it's all right. It's all right. Hang on. Yeah, can I get your number? If you don't mind, I'll, I'll holler at you. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I don't have a phone. My father refused to buy me a phone. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Um, can we? Can we? Can we hook up? Tomorrow? Okay, good. So we hook up tomorrow then. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Permission, my lady. I'll sign out right now. Okay. I will see you off. And my name is Nkiruka, not my lady. Oh, okay, after you. Eh? But you're the one going home. Forgive me, I got carried away. What, yes. what are the plans you said you have? Yes. There's no time to waste. Yeah, remember I told you before that Nana wanted to sell his land to a Kenny. Mm -hmm. And the Kenny promised to pay the next time he visits this village. Right now, as we speak, Ekene is in this village. Ekene is in the village? Yes. Right Ekene now. Ekene is in this village. Okay. All right, Jeta, Moses, go for Ekene, get the money. Don't come back here without the money. Uh, you huh? see, I suggest something. I suggest we, we, we get the money from uh, Nana. 
Because if you collect the money from a Kene, then you a Kene will lose his money. But Nana will still have in position of that very land, will still be in position of that land. So I suggest let us collect the money from Nana. So he will lose everything. Remember, he used to be our enemy. Okay, okay, okay. You have had him. Hmm? So you are going to Ekene for the money. You're going to Nana for the land. Eh? Move. Consider it done. Okay. Um, Let me give you money to no buy food and drinks because um, more money is coming. Eh? Uh, uh, hold this one. Hold this one. Move. Please do a very perfect job. Cookies, when I'm at on the ice cream ball. Hey. Oh, oh my, my lady, please. Make yourself make yourself comfortable. You're welcome. Don't worry, don't worry. I, I got this. Uh, you, you want some of these? Mm. Sure. Oh, hi. Mm. Uh, one second. Okay. How are you? I'm fine. Uh, wise one. I want to ask you a question. Okay, shoot. Why did you leave America? and come back to the village to serve our gods, just like that. Uh, uh, first, I would say, thank you. Yeah, big thanks to you. You know what? Because nobody in this village has bothered to ask me why I'm doing this. Just you, so, appreciate it. You know, Way back in the States, I, I was doing pretty well. Like, so well. So well for myself. I, I got a job, nice crib and all that. A lot of cars. And, but at some point, I don't know, I, I wasn't feeling myself. You know? Then I started seeing strange things. A whole lot of strange things. And damn, I was, I was scared. I'm telling you, like scared to bits. And then I talked to this white friend of mine. He told me, he said I had to get back here and do this because my father, my father did this. Everybody knows, so that's exactly what he told me. And then he said this to me. He said my life was at stake. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my life. So I just had to get back and do this. And I decided to get back. Yeah. And you know, now that I'm here, there's this peace I feel inside. It's just the, I just, I just feel cool with myself. And hey, I don't know, I don't know if I'm doing this the right way, but I love these guys. And they love me. And I think that's why they chose me, you know. Everybody thinks I'm crazy, I'm stupid, like, like I weed. But I don't give a fuck. I love these people. They love me. So I'm doing my shit. I can do my shit, you know, do my shit. So I let me know. <laughs> Let me not bore you with my stories. Like I said, it's quite long. But I got you something. Okay. Yeah. Something. Yeah. Hang on. Uh oh. Aha. Whoa. My name is Okay. My bad. Hey. I should open it. Yeah, please. Yeah, are you scared of me? Of course I ain't gonna hurt you.
What is this? A, a phone? F for me? Of course. For you. Why would you buy me a phone just like that? The other day you said I didn't have a phone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you said your, your, uh, your dad wouldn't get you a phone. So, hey, I can do it, so I did it. Thank you. Thank you, wise one. May our gods reward you and reward you. Thank you. No, no please, don't, 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 don't go on your knees. It's okay. It's okay. I'm going to teach you how to use it so you just feel comfortable with your stuff. So please, make yourself comfortable. Okay? Hey, yo, what's up, guys? What up? What up? What up? How you doing, people? It's your boy Mike, aka Make You Represent. Right about now, I'm right here to say hi to you guys. You know how you doing? You know? You know how you doing? Whoa, whoa, my nigga, brother, 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 you know, ah, I feel you, man, how you doing, man? Yeah, I, I know you don't talk, but I know you, I know you do, good. Aha, uh -huh. right here is my brother, badass, dude, badass, nigga, I know you, they don't know you, but I know you, I know you're a badass motherfucker. How you doing, man? Yeah, all right, okay, peeps, uh, first of all, I want to say, I, I, I don't know. You know me. I just got back. I, I don't know if I'm doing this the right way. But hey, the brother's doing his best right here. You know, you gotta feel me. It's part of me, right? Now, I've got some stuff for you. Just give me. Uh oh. Give me a second. I got it. I got some color for you guys. Okay. Then again, I got some stuff for you, some drink. Aha, I want to know. Not like I'm trying to diss you guys, you know, but I want to know. Why would you like getting high in some cheap stuff like this? You see, that is why these people, they don't respect you. They don't give a fuck about you because you're not demanding. So I don't like it. But for me, trust me, I got some badass hot shit. All right, you see, I told you, this is Hennessy VS. I know you're gonna like it, people. You know me, I, I, I don't do it. Hey, what up, dude? How you doing? You know, I was just praying to my God. You wanna come join me? Michael, you're calling me dude. You're calling your elder brother dude. You're finished. You are insulting the gods of the land in the name of supplication. Michael, I warn you. Get ready to go back to America. You must go back to America. I'm warning you! Oh, come on, bro. You're so pathetic. You know, I want to know. Why do you people love, you know, referring to these guys as bad guys? These dudes right here. Hey, let, me, let me show you. You see? These guys ain't bad. They ain't bad. They, they love, you know, being with people, mixing up with people. They, they, they ain't nothing wrong with them. You see? And, and, you know, they love to get high on some cheap stuff. They ain't greedy. greedy. You are worsening your matter. You are calling the gods of the land. Guys, guys, the girls who came all the way from America to worship you are calling guys. Mike, hey, you're in trouble though. You are in trouble. And I'm warning you. But I'll tell you this. You see these guys right here, these dudes, my people, they don't give a fuck what you call them. They don't care. And that is why they chose me, aka Mickey, to do this. I don't care if I'm doing this the right way. These people right here, they love me. They don't give a fuck. What they care about is the purity of your fucking heart, baby. And that is why I win. They love me. Let me live here before they destroy you and I. Hmm? Gods of Ikenga, you can see I'm not part of this. Destroy him and him alone if it cause your wrath. Fine, they're good. With him alone! Can you just get the fuck out of my shrine, please? I don't need you. Huh? Steve! Sorry about that, people. Where will we have to start? Giving you guys something to drink. Hmm. Ah. Nice. Okay, so we start work for today. I make you move inside. Me to get to my room. Me give her the boom, 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 bad girl got the biggest 
Question is that. Must Michael give us money before we give him food? Uju, when he came back, did he buy you ordinary bread? Did he buy bread for you? Eh? Nah. It's not fair. He's your younger brother we're talking about here, Michael. Uju, I can see you are the one spoiling Michael. You are the one deceiving him. If not for this overfeeding, he would have gone back to America. Mike would have gone back and become useful. Now, send back the food. No. How am I spoiling Mike? Okay, you want to try me? No, you want to try me by arguing. Now go back. Go back with the food. No, it's not fair. Go back, go back. Go. It's not fair, Mike. If you can have a Mwala. Mike is your younger brother. Who would have a Mwala? Mwabo. Who would have a Mwala? Mwala. Mwala. Michael. Michael. Yeah, what the fuck is it? Sit down here. Huh? Sit down here. I want to discuss with you. Is it too early for a fucking discussion? Huh? Sit down first. Let me show you something. Sit down. Alright. Alright. See this one. It is called Ikinga. The presumed guardian of this our land. Now, this one is Awalawai, the wife of a king. Then, this last one is called Aro, Aro Bunago, the messenger of these two. I packaged all these things for you. See, I'm tired of you making mockery of the gods of our land. Since you want to be worshipping gods, these are for you. They were the gods worshipped by our forefathers. So why are you doing this? I am doing everything for you. It's all for you. Package them in a bag, then go back to America with all of them. We even have the one called Agadewai. When you graduate from worshipping these ones, then I can send you Agadewai. Eh? The recession will be complete. Yes. Now you listen to me, old man. I ain't cut out for your crap this morning. Right now, I'm signing out to my office to go start work for today. I got my life to live. So you, back off. Michael, back you off. have no life to live. I said you have no life to live. Let me warn you. These gods were provided by the SMO. So their potency is not in doubt. <clears throat> Michael, you must worship this is so. You're joking with your life, oh. You're joking with your life. Mm. Okay. Okay.
Brother, brother. Whoa. What's up, my people? Jeez, I'm having the fun of my life, baby. You know, I decided to do this little party for the gods. To let them know what time it is, you know? Let them know what's up. They're my niggas, you know? I want to let them know that their boy Mike, a.k.a. Mickey, is back to represent. And that's exactly what I'm doing, baby. You know, silver and gold. What I got is pure love and peace for all of you. That's what I'm spreading. That is the word I preach. Love and peace. All right? So drink up, eat, and get your groove on. Hi, I will not go to my house. Hey. There is nothing you will say that will make me go back to my house. Eh? I'm in trouble. Hey. Huh? Odmog, my friend. You have not told me the reason why you are running away from your house. Because no real man runs away from his house, no matter what. My friend. I got the wine came to me last night in my dream. I got the wine? Yes, I got the wine. This hey. behavior from Mike has incurred the wrath of Agadim wine upon our family. Eh? I even had Mike was calling the gods of the land. You guys, you guys, get, get out of here before I deal with you guys. I'm going to do this with you guys. Can you imagine that? As if it wasn't enough. Mike went and hosted a party in the shrine. We are girls, we are dancing naked. Dancing naked. Dancing naked. Uh, but more, eh? uh, 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 but you have to do something. You have to do something before I get wine destroys your entire family. You're correct. Hey! You're correct. That's, That's why I came to you. To allow me to stay in your house. Let me take my refuge here. Be cool. No. No. You cannot stay in my house. Brother, I advise you to go to the chief priest and explain everything to him. That you know that you have no hands in whatsoever Mike is doing. You see? Then and you see he will help you talk to the gods. He will help you talk to the gods. Ometere Buru. Okay, let me go. Let me go. Let me see if they can help this problem, you know, because um, I'm in trouble, hey. real trouble. So let me go. Uh, come, 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 come. Carry your bag now. So the the chief priest will know that you are serious. That you are very serious. Hmm? Hey. I have to go with the bag. Ubuda hapa wabo. Uboda hapoala na ngwapo. So you insist I carry my bag and go. Oh my friend. You are my friend though. I'm just suggesting this. Because with your bag, the chief priest will it's now okay. understand. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Let me tell you. I'll go. Eh? Okay. But let me equally suggest to you that you have to go to the chief priest to solve your own problem. Because in the party I referred to, I equally saw your daughter dancing naked. With the girls in the shrine, my own but her own case was like a style. She was dancing. Let you be my babe. I can see you with my babe. You know, wriggling her waist. Dancing naked. Nkiruka. Jomia. Nkiruka. Nkiru. Hey.
Ichele ku, ichele ku, ichele ku, ichele ku, ichele ku, achala. That's not what I see. Cause I can't hear. What I see. Cause I can't hear. Manager, what have you done? Odu Modu. From what I'm saying, that boy was truly called by the gods. But what I don't understand is why he is hosting a party at the shrine. Well, that's why you should look very deeply. Or do we need glasses? Hmm. Odumodu. Mind your tongue. Icheleku, Icheku, Icheleku, Icheku, Icheleku, Icheku, Icheleku, Achal. Ha! Icheke. Ilotes one by the one I bend them more. I go to work at a cabo, the Malamangu de Ha. Odmodu, you have to go home. Go home? Go home to your family. Agadimwa is not about to go to war. She is calm. In fact, she is happy. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, but if she changes her mind, what happens? Before she goes to war, she must inform me first. So that I will warn the person she's angry with. Okay. 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 Thank you very much. But in case she changes her mind, please get me informed. I knew few people would come here today. Mm. This is the place you come to spend the money you made from the land. Oh, so did I not tell you that I'm robbers? Took away the money I made from that land. I'm robbers made away with your money. And you're here drinking up to four bottles. Ah. Uh, 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 Why do you talk like this? Eh? So I should not drink again because I'm robbers stole my money. Eh? Well, I don't have your time. I don't. Let me leave before you insult me. Because I know that you don't have respect. For a senior chief like me, Nana. You may be a senior chief. Is you not the same chief that we are? Hmm. Don't mention that high chief or senior chief in my presence again. You stupid adulterer. Huh? Stupid adulterer. You are calling me adulterer? Uh -huh. You and your ancestors are adulterers. Uh -huh. Huh? What do you do? Is it not possible that these boys got this money and refused to remit to us. That is what it means. Those boys are thieves. You see, they have robbed us of our money. We are going to confront them. Yes. If we go there and they refuse to bring the money, then Ishigatonane. Heads we roll. No, not yes. now. Not now. We shall go in the night. You see, when they will be resting in the house. They should be having the money. But from the way he was talking, he sounded sincere. Eh? Anyway, we do that later. Let's drink now. Um, Agatha! Agatha! Hey! It's your world! You are welcome. I didn't know you were here. Mm -hmm. eh? It's your I'm sorry. Even if you didn't see us, you had our voices. I'm sorry now. I was very busy. You know you're there, boy. Oh, do more, do more. <laughs> you're welcome. Please, what do I offer you? Good as our usual. Okay. Okay. So how is your business? Fine, no. Fine. Okay. Okay. Evil men. 
It is only people who don't understand the type of people you are that will fall into, in, into your traps. Not somebody like me, Ichen Nana. Mpano. Do you boys think you are smart? Eh? So you collected that money? Which money? The money you boys took from Ichen Nana. Where is the money? Where is the money? Nai, Nai Otito. We did not carry out the operation again, though. A kid told us that he paid to Ichen Nana. That very day, he took him to see the land. That's a big lie. Eh? That is a very big lie. Oh. Ekele told me that he will be paying for the land the next time he will visit. And the chain Nana confirmed to us that you boys made away with the money. Where is the money? Where is the money? Ijeo Tito and Ijeo Dmood. If Nana Saapaliwa is missing, it was stolen by the other gang, not I and Moses. Oh. We don't know anything about it. You are trying to tell us that Nana told a lie. Yes. You are lying. Let me tell you, if you play with that money, if you play with that money, you'll be in trouble. Like I just said, you are waiting for the atmosphere to cool so you can go to a corner and squander the money. If you try it, if you try it, I'll take your names to Agarimwa. Yeah. And every other shrine in our town must get your names and get you punished. Just try it. Ojito. We are going, let's go. I am now ready. I must live with my money. It's either I live with my money or I die here. Ojito, you are no longer a small boy. You are a red cap chief, don't forget. Nothing will happen to this money. See, I want to move the I want to move the Come, let's go. I am giving you assurance we'll get that money. Come, let's go. It's nice. You know, I think you've got magic fingers. Mm. Yeah, like anything you touch, mm. anything, it just turns out. Please, this food, I do not even use ingredients for this food. I was scared you won't like it, Seth. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Nah, you're kidding me. And it came out like this? It's really nice. Well, since you like it that much, when you finish this one, I'll bring more for you from the kitchen. <laughs> What is happening here? Um, what is happening here? Mike, what are you doing in my house? Uh, uh, me, I, I was just getting some... Uh, forgive me. Hi. Da! Me, hi! Me, hi! Eh? You have sold your respect in, in, in America to buy your, 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 your flight ticket. But I, Otito, I am going to teach you some respect. I'm going to teach you something. When you were in America, you never remember that I existed. Now you become the American, American native doctor. American Dibia. You have remembered that I have a house. You have remembered that I have a daughter. Mike, leave my house. I said leave my house now. Papa, it's okay. Oh. It's okay. Mama Mike is my friend. He came to see me. Can't I have a visitor? Shut up. Shut up. What do you know about friendship? What do you know about friendship? He is only here to destroy you. And this, I will not tolerate. Mike, leave my house. Eh? Mama, it's, it's a lie, oh. He's not going anywhere, baby. You're not going anywhere until no, I say oh, so. You get him, baby. Yes, Papa. Oh, you're not going to baby. Now, baby, in my house. Hey, baby, in my house. Whoa. Where the fuck? Don't mind my daughter. Get him, baby. Yeah, 
He should not be allowed one more night in a kinga. Do you know that that boy almost killed me? Yes. It will, to add to what he said, that boy's dirty conduct, if unchecked, will bring a curse upon the land of a kinga. So the best thing to do is to send him back to America. That is true. But the model, Igwe, you cannot talk in the Council of Elders dressed like that. Thank you, Igwe. I thought you did not see him. Do you know that since that boy he now condemns, the same boy who gives him this foreign cloth is putting on, returned from America, Ichio Dumodu has got oblivious of the fact that he's a titled man. He goes about dressing like a cowboy, like a boy. Udodi, are you jealous? <laughs> jealous of who? Are you envious? This boy you are castigating now. Was the boy I asked you to help me fund this education in America, but you refused. You are not jealous. You refused. I did it alone. Who did you send to America? The boy who sold all his land and nearly uh, did his burial because you thought he's dead. You thought he was dead. Ochito, if you love that boy that much, why not give him the hand of your daughter in marriage? God forbid. Uh, uh, How can I be a, a father-in-law to, to a witch doctor <laughs> who carries gun around? <laughs> See it? Please, jokes and chats apart. That boy poses a nuisance. He's a danger in this land. I know the boy very well. In fact, I had already become a man when his father married his mother and gave birth to him. So let's send him back to America. Yes. It's a danger here. Please. It's okay. I have personally carried out an investigation and have been able to confirm that that boy solved spiritual problems for people of Ikenga and beyond. So based on that, that boy stays in Ikenga. Ne. This rumor in this village is just too much. It's getting too much. Which rumor again? Which one is? Uh, 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 which? As if you don't know. Your, your romance with that American Dibia. You don't know it's all over this village, eh? <laughs> You know what they call it? Shameless romance. Shameless romance like this. That is what they call it. I don't blame you. It's you that have your mouth. So you can eat shit eh, inside. Let me eat. As for you people, call it whatever. From Kiri, I'm in love. <laughs> Kiri, you know I'm your friend. You're my best friend. I cannot lie to you. I have always envied you because at this age, you're still a virgin. But you did not keep your virginity this long just to lose it to an American Dibia. Look at it now. Listen to me, Amaka. That village American Dibia is the only man I have ever loved. Hey! And he is the one I will give my virginity to. Do you hear me? That common American Dibia has proven to be more than any man can be for me so you villagers can 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 think whatever what you like you hear me but for me he's a darling so because because because, because just leave him like that thank you 
to me, he's a darling. Hey, my dear friend, please tell me, eh, because I am interested. Where and when will you be giving that your precious virginity to him? Is it at the shrine? Tell me now. If you people can organize a party, party oh, in a shrine, what else will you not do? Nine. I don't understand you at all. How can you how can you bring in two women into the house and, and call them wives? Okay, okay, you would have loved me to bring two slaves. You answer me. See, in Kichi. Is now my second wife, Ndidi, my third wife. Hmm? And I warn you, if you're not careful, I marry more. It is my house. I have the authority. I have the wherewithal. Nay, it is not fair. Mm. It is not fair. Hey? How can you just bring in two women into the house? Mm. Hey? Have you forgotten I am your legally married wife? Hey? And we, we've been through a lot together. We've been through a lot of difficulties together. The only thing we've been together in for years in this house has been lack of you giving me children. Lack of you cooking good food for me in this house. Hmm? You know about farming quite all right. I encourage you, go and acquire expertise in farming. But Nkechi will now be cooking my food. Ndidi will now be sleeping with me, then going to occasions together. That's it. Honey, yeah. but you know I can give you many children as you want. <laughs> Sweetie, you know I can always do that too. Okay, that's why I bought the two of you. Okay. Yeah, you're succulent, edible, <laughs> right? <laughs> I like it. it is a <laughs> Get you, I have your records. I know you've had about four children from different husbands you married earlier. Mm. I'm impressed with that record. It shows the capability you have. You come here and begin to. So, what do you do now? Go and get a room, put their things there. Hmm? No argument. Hey! Now you're a wicked man. Mm. It's written on my face. Wickedness. Hey! See here. Let me tell you God will judge us. God will judge us. God did not judge us. For 15 years, you didn't give me children. God did not judge us. For 15 years, you were cooking bad food here, feeding me with poison. Now I've married two wives to make me happy. You want God to come and judge us? Nonsense. Go and show them where to stay. Otherwise, I direct them to do it, and you, who was the first, will now become the last. Me, I cock, I cock. Move in. If you don't move in, they will move in. If you don't move, yeah, they take over. Only God will judge us. They will God will judge us. Thank you. Oh, yeah, no man. Don't touch anybody. Eh? So go in there. Go in there. Eh? Baby, I don't know going to come and help me carry my bag. Uh, uh, carrying your bag at this point is too early. Or it's premature. Mm. When I sleep with you and find you very tasty. Uh, I can begin to carry your bag. Baby, you know I'm always sweet. Yeah, you know. See, this shape you have is second to not. I like this shape. Look at the different people who do for you. Well. So I'll take care of you tonight. Eh? Here you go. Thank you. Thank you. You know, I said you won't take anything. Thank you, Nine. I'm okay. Thank you. It's all well. Hmm. Because you have not visited me at this time, even when, when my wife was around. Nay, Otito. It's your friend Odumodu. Nay, do, do you know that Odumodu went and brought two extra wives into the house? Eh? So, Nay, I have come to confirm if, if he informed you about this new plan of marrying, of marrying two extra wives. The Modus two wives. He never discussed that with me. He only told me that he was worried because you could not give him a child. You see, which I always tell him that you are not, 
you, you are not the cause of that. You are not responsible for not giving him a child. You see? But with this development now, you will be vindicated. No, no, I don't understand. You don't understand? Yes, I, I don't understand. Okay. You see, do you know that since Odumodu have been sleeping around with women, that he has never been accused by any woman of impregnating her? Huh? If you want to maintain this your house, do what I tell you. Nay. Mm -hmm. How do you mean? I, I, I don't understand. Sleep with me. Hey! And I will impregnate you. Hey, you see? And you tell your husband that he is the one that fathered the, the child. That is all. Nay, Otito. Now I know you are a complete useless man. Oh, yeah. You're a useless man. No. Oh, oh. Oh, so you think I am those kind of women you sleep with? You think I'm Akudo and Ugochi that you made them leave their husband's house? <laughs> Your plan has failed. This my west is filled with children. Now you Tito, if you are on heat, you better go to Ozo Buiwe Hotel and go and cool down. That's where useless people like you go to. It's a very simple thing. Don't do what I tell you. She who laughs last. Laughs best. What do you... you can't be staying in a man's house without a child. Get a child from any source. I don't even know why I'm, I'm, I'm still wasting my time looking at you. Useless man. Look at woman. I am a man. You are a man. You are a man. You are a man. You are a man. man. I am not a useless man. I'm a real man. Not a bad now. Stay without child. Who we'll give me more? Yeah, it's my husband. You're still making up? Yeah. You took your bath before I took mine. But you're still here. I know, baby, but I have to look beautiful for you all. Do you want me to lose continuity? No, no, no. no. Maintain your beauty. Maintain your beauty. Only you have to hurry up. That's mm. my husband. Mm. Um, are you going to give me children as beautiful as you are? Of course, my baby. You know I can always give you lots of them. Any amount of them. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> You giving me that promise? Yes, baby. I okay, check this. Take this. Mm. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Hurry up, eh? Hurry up. Yeah. Oh, what is this rubbish? Hey, Uju? You're still watching this car? You can't even begin to watch this morning. You're still there now. Huh? Uju, if you're tired of this marriage, tell me I packed you back to your father. Hurry it up! Go to the farm. Yes, Kazava for, for, for Grandi Gary. Lazy woman. Who put the hap along with Apple? Honey. Huh? The food is ready. Come and eat before leaving. But I'm very sorry. We are late already. Uh, when we come back, we eat. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't be offended. Oh? Are you offended? No. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Fine. Yeah, thank you. Once we come back, I eat. Okay. Just keep the food. Oh. Okay. Uh, bye bye. Uh, okay, Mama. Yeah. Come, let's go now. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Take away that bucket or I throw it away now. Take it away. Chip yeah. thing. Get out from that car, let's move. No, I cannot go to Unilag. It's fun now. Me, I feel Unizik and Unek. So that I'll be close to my father at home. <laughs> I've not said so. <laughs> I've not you said know. anything like that. Hey, Papa, how come? Thank you. Who gave you that phone? Hmm? Who gave you that phone? Hey. It's my phone. I didn't buy any phone for you. Who gave you this phone you're holding? Mike bought it for me. Mike? Which Mike are you talking about? Mike Odmode. Hey! Mike Odmode! 
the mad boy. He bought this phone for you and you have the cart to bring it into my house. Give me the phone. Huh? Give me that phone. Mm -mm. Papa, I cannot give it to you. This one is not just a, any ordinary phone. It's a Blackberry phone. You mm -hmm. spoil it now. Oh, you won't give me the phone? Yeah. Okay. Wait and see what I'll do to you. I will not only kill you, I'll go to that shrine and burn it down. And that Mike, oh, if he survives what I'm going to do to him, he will never forget it in his life. Wait and see. Mike is not a madman. Mike is a mad. Hey! My mates have phone. Can't I have a phone? What's this? My friend. Give me the phone. Give me the phone. Give me the phone. I've been looking for you. Wow, well, yeah, I am kind of enjoying myself. Uh, Nime, please, there's something I want to discuss with you. It's been bothering me, but I don't know how to tell you. Um, what could that be? You know, her husband has not touched me since I came into this house. I'm a woman like you. I need to be touched. <laughs> so please, give me the opportunity to spend just one night with him. Because, uh, why are you laughing now? Wait, wait, What's wait. funny? Uh, ju just that? Yes. Um, you can always go ahead and have it. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're a good woman. I I'll just give you the go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, you. I'm a woman who I'm looking at you with my husband. Eh? I see my furniture. You can always go ahead. Oh. Thank you. Thank you very much. Start enjoying your Hey, I am gonna spoil you. Seriously, like, like, today. Yeah, not again. What? Hey, what you don't like my dress? Can I hang out with me? Huh? My blades up? Oh, no, 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 worry. No, my bad, my bad. I, I just, I, I just keep you far away. Far away from me. Off the lights. Mm. Off it. Okay. Ah. All right. You know I love you. Yeah. Very much. Uh huh. I'm happy you have brought sunshine into my life. You have changed uh -huh. my life. Uh -huh. My baby, some of your habits are bad. Eh? Really? Like this cigar. You smoke too much. In fact, you're not supposed to be smoking at all. It's not good. And you, you don't have to dress like this because you, you're serving the gods. The gods are interested in your heart. You're a good man with a good heart. And with the sincerity of your worship, they're okay with that. You don't have to dress like, like this. No, 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 no. Jeez, no, no, no. Tell me that. Look at me. Look at me like, like you, you feel me, right? I know that if you wear all these shirts that other men wear and this one under here, you'll be fine. I want you to look good. So you look very good for me. So that all those stupid girls in this village will envy you when they see me. Yes, they want to have a fine man. Uh, oh, okay. okay. I for you. <laughs> okay, but, but, but seriously, like for me, I, I think I just, I look great. Uh -uh. Nkiru! 
Nkiru! Why are you calling her? At least to bring us some cola now. Forget about cola. What I came for is more important than cola. Even that seed, forget about seed. Yeah. Come, come, come. Ojito, just come. Hey, cola is making it. We can eat cola next time. I am all here. See. I got a letter from America. A letter from America? America. In fact, I never knew my younger brother Mike had so much money until I saw that letter. The kind of money in that letter is such that once I get it over here, governments in Nigeria will begin to come to me for loan to run their governments. Hi, good mood. Are you telling me this as story or what? But why, why, why should Mike leave such amount in America? <laughs> Nothing can explain that except madness. Mike is very mad. So white people in America are suggesting that it's not proper to leave such amount of money in the hands of somebody who is mad. They are saying that whoever is the Igwe of the town where Mike comes from should come with his elders and then grab that money, come back here for development. Igwe? Yes. But you know that our Igwe is a very greedy man. You see, I know he has been to America several times. He can even uh, sacrifice us to the gods of the white man and share the money and share the money with his children in America and come back to tell our people that Mike had no money in America. <laughs> Mike had no money in America. Who would I have for Allah? No apple. What you do? Yes. What makes you think that Igwe will hoodwink us? Take us to America. Wrap up our hands, then take us to a shrine. Is it possible? No. We are mature people. We are as wise as Igwe. He can't do that. I'm a man. What I want you to direct your minds to is the opportunity that has arisen for us to go to America. Can America? America, 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 America. Let's see America. I am America, Naka. Hey, be your ma. Yes, I would like to go to America. What are you talking about? Hey, hey. America. I get America. <laughs> so go and prepare. Let me prepare. Can you come America? Hey, America. Whatever can whatever. America. Hey, can you walk with Why are we silent? Why are we not deliberating? The Igwe is no more. 
let's look for a successor. Let's make effort to get somebody who succeeds him. Eh? Good mood. Digwe only joined his ancestors last night. So let us first of all discuss his burial arrangement as the tradition demands. Ichenana, that is the right thing to do. Oh, the mood has a very urgent matter you must attend to in America. We have to appoint a new Igwe that will follow into America. Why are the rest of us here plan the Igwe's burial? Oh, Tuto. In that case, we must consult this more. Remember, the lady who has two sons. Although they are young and may not know much about our person and tradition. <laughs> My only regret is that they visited the king only once. And as a result, one of them is qualified to succeed their late father. Look. If the late Igwe is not buried before we proceed to appoint a new then can be handled. Was it not in line with that that we consulted the SMO? Or are you by this statement saying that the SMO is no longer the mouthpiece of the gods? Eh? Well, in that line, my fellow elders, I suggest that we shall all disperse and reconvene on a clear market day. As a more must be informed of the present situation. That's very correct. Yeah. More importantly, the Wesley children might have been informed of their father's death. And uh, we are expecting to hear from them any moment from now. Hmm. <laughs> More the mouthpiece of the gods. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the more the working. I came around the neighborhood. So I said, let me come around and see how you are faring. Mm -mm. Yes. You did well, my brother. It is only you and a few others in this town who still remember that I exist. Every other person minds their business. Hmm. Oh, it's a pity. Don't mind them. Hmm? Hi! This is our old tradition. When neighbors will wake up, they go to fellow neighbors and say, How are you faring? It's dead. For some time now, I can't remember a neighbor who came around to me and said, Udumodu, kekede. It's no longer there. But I get Mokono Gene. It's a pity. We have to bear it. That is the situation we find ourselves. Yeah. Um, as a more, I found out one interesting thing about you. You see, each time you work for me, you don't demand for money, for payment, for compensation. You just allow me to go. And I said, this is the time for me to appreciate. Mm. Eh? As a more. You see this? Yeah. It's all for you. <laughs> oh, devote, my brother. <laughs> this for me? It's all for you. Thank you. Please put it here. <sighs> oh, devote, my brother. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Okay. You did well. Okay. Um, you said you don't want to eat cola. Uh, no, no, no. Forget about cola. Next time I come, we can talk about that one. All right. I'm on my way. Mm -hmm. uh, Okay. But then, as a more, before I forget, yes. they will soon call you to the palace on a kete to decide who will be the next Igwe. As a more, mm. I want you to consider me for that position. I am going to appreciate you highly if you put me in that position. Please. You know what I'm thinking? People like you who sacrifice for the community deserve more than what you get. You should be living in a mansion. You should be riding a car. And I want to say that once you consider me for that position, I am going to take care of all this. 
I promise you. Mm. Yes. Odumodu, hmm? what you said is true. I understand. Go home. I will endeavor to ask the gods to speak on your behalf. Is that so? Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. That was thank you. That was thank you. I'm on my way. Jerry, seriously, I don't know, but you really need to talk to Mike for me. I need to see him. I've offended him. I left his house for no just reason. I need to get back to him. I beg you. Mm. You need to talk to him for me. Listen, um, I want you to forget about Mike and move on with your life. You know, I regret ever getting myself involved in this whole bullshit, this whole stuff. And from the heart, I'm, I'm sorry about that. And as for your job, I promise I'm going to get you a better job so that your parents can be happy with you again. All right? Thank you. I appreciate you a lot. But seriously, I need to see Mike. There is no amount of job, no kind of job you'll give me that will fill the vacuum he left in my life. I need to see him. Please, don't you understand? You need to understand. I need to see Mike. Well, fine. If seen Mike, is what you so desire. We shall go see him in two days' time. Yes. So tell me, are you now happy? <laughs> God, I'm happy. No, it's apparent. I can see that. I'm seriously happy. Thank you. You're welcome. So tell me, how is business going? Yeah, business is good. Keep trying to try. But it will be the glory, that's what I'm saying. It don't look bad at all. Ndiche, the gods are silent. They have not picked any name from the three persons submitted to them. You have to try and make them talk. This is a very delicate matter. How can the gods just keep quiet? Let them talk. Mm. I will be back. Let me go and do another consultation.
What's up, man? I'm good. I'm Bro, good. <laughs> Mr. Man, how you doing? I'm good, and you? Yeah, I'm doing great, man. I'm doing great. Nice shirt. Yeah, thanks, man. <clears throat> I missed you. to my crib, go wait for me. I said leave. <laughs> They still refused to choose a king from the names submitted to them. Rather, they decided to favor a neutral person. The gods have favored each year. Odumod. Ezemo! <laughs> The gods chose me? Are you sure you had them correctly? Yes. Odmodu, the gods favored you. That's the throne. Ascend the throne. Hey, brother, Don't you have played dumb with me? What the fuck is going on here? Michael, the gods have chosen your brother. I am on the new king! What? Yes. Are you elders freaking going nuts? Well, I'm thinking that what you responsible elders should do in a situation like this is to think about what, what killed our king. And not to sit here and think about how to replace our king. Our king was murdered. He was screwed. He was laced. He was fucked. In the ass. Hey! The gods are wise. The gods favored Ichi Odumodu. Now, little boy, run back home before you kill the rats of the gods. It's a mo. Isi kalaka ne buogidi. Isi na kalaka buogidi. Ogidi abaja nisi. Isi kote buno. I swear to God, people, e buno abaka is Michael. Have you come here to speak in tongues? Or to distort proverbs? Well, I ain't here to distort anything. I'm right here because the gods sent me down here to correct you people, all right? To direct you people. You are bloody ass, Ofeke. Ofeke, how do you chase it? Ofekenga. Oh, 
I've lived the way I did. Please, find a place in your heart to forgive me. I beg you. I'm touched. I am so, so, so touched. You know, the truth is, I ain't mad at you. Nah, I ain't mad at you, you know? I believe everything happens for a reason. Your absence in my life, it gave me the opportunity to find true love and real, real happiness. I don't understand you. Didn't I show you love? I'll just give it to you straight. I found someone else. Yeah, I got someone else who loves me. Someone who loves me for who I am. For what I am, the way I am. Someone who reciprocates my love. You know, when you left me, I was so sad. I was heartbroken. But she came my way and she made me feel vindicated. She made my reasons justified. But I love you. I truly love you. I even left my job because of you. Yes, you did. And what did I get in return? Heartbreak. Sadness. That's all. Look. I don't want to walk through that road anymore. Never. Nikki, please, please. Why? I beg you. Jerry, please talk to him. Please, I'm here now for you. I'm here to stay. I'm not, I'm not going anywhere. Please, just forgive me and everything will be fine. Jerry, just talk to him. Jerry, talk to him. Jerry, talk to him. It's okay. Tell him I love it's, him. I love no, him. I love him. It's okay. Jerry, go and talk to him. I will talk to him. him. It's okay. Come no. on. Come sit, please. It's all right. It's okay. Stand up. Come and sit down. Let's go talk to him. Please go talk to him for me. Why did I leave? Why did I leave in the first place? <laughs> I love him, I love him, God, I love him. What are you people doing in my house? What are you doing here? It's your demand. Uh -huh. SMO's body is lying at the waist palace. Uh -huh. It is beginning to decay. And so what? And so what? Two of you were the closest allies to the Igwe when I was alive. So it's your duty to go and bury that dead body. Odumodu, you are the next Igwe. So. You must come up with a solution. Uh, okay, if it is an ego that must bury that body, I declare you the ego. No, uh -uh. go and do it. I resign. Odumodu. Become the ego, go and bury it. You are a liar. Uh. Odumodu, you are a liar. Is that so? You are the king, and therefore, you must do something about it. It's the most decaying body. Okay, I yes. have a solution. Uh. I can go and pick the body, 
bring to my wife to cut into pieces to prepare pepper soup. Yes, it's a way out. Odumod, pepper soup, oh no no. I can't go on and make you simbe. Eh? Oriye no no. Okay, leave my house right away. Eh? You ask us to leave your house? Yes. Good. We shall leave. But mark my words. He who never submits to anything will one day submit to a burial mat. Don't leave my house now. Okay. I caught your uncle Amo. Eh? I caught your school to Hey, I use it to do some short paper soup. Tell him what I want to tell you. I woman know when Bola will talk and see okay. And see okay. You see okay. Oh, that I want to go. Oh, well, no, no. Oh, look, well, no, no. Hey! Eh? I got the one. Mother of Ikenga. The enemies of Ikenga have brought battle to your doorstep. The mother hen does not sit back and watch her chicks being slaughtered by the kites. No! Never! Stand up. I say, stand up and fight for Ikenga. Descend and consume all enemies of Ikenga. Descend, Agadiwai, and consume all enemies of Ikenga. Descend and consume all enemies of Ikenga. Uh -huh. <laughs> if I got there, 
I saw you mark on the tree. <laughs> oh, but I happen to have long one apple. <laughs> what? What, what, what tree was that? What tree? Whose farmland? <laughs> wait, wait. Let me dress up so you can go. Let me, let me dress up. Oh, but I have apple. Hey. Hey. Huh? I saw. As far as I'm concerned, Nicheta's death looks strange and suspicious. No one has ever committed suicide in this community. Mm. As we all know, suicide is an abomination and a pollution to the land. <sighs> it is only a garden wine that can compel someone to commit suicide. Mm -mm. I still maintain that we must consult the oracle before we bury his body. Udodi? Yes? I don't agree with you. Mm. Mm? Don't bring Agadim wine into this matter. As far as I'm concerned, Agadim wine is innocent. You can't accuse her. The incheta I knew was always troublesome, controversial, and provocative. So I knew that one day he would commit suicide. Now you're lying. You're lying. The Incheta we knew had been very happy and uh, uh, hopeful of tomorrow. Oh, he was never an aggressive person. No? That is not true. I know how many times I personally stopped Incheta from committing suicide. He purposely went to the farm alone without you because he planned to kill himself. Moses, did you hear him? You know, here. <coughs> No, no. Uh, uh, where are you going to? I have to go. My body is getting weak and hot. Okay. Okay. Oh, ugly Ugly is more powerful. Eh? America. American America. Open Washington. Look at what I've done to myself. I got the one must be responsible for Cheta's suicide. Eh? I got the one is on rampage. Eh? Udumodu has deceived me. I wish I did not listen to the gang of. Heading to your house. What happened? I saw Richard Nana. His body is hanging on the tree. Eh? Hey. What we just talked about now? Hey! What we just hey. talked about? Calamities in our town! Where? 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 Uh. Just by that side. Eh? That side. Hey. Yeah, let's go. Hey! Richard Nana. Hey! 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 Nana! Hey! This is how you ended up? No! No! Oh, Toto! It's a calamity! 
What is this? Hey! <laughs> Ududi has joined his ancestors. Hey! Hey! Ududi is dead. Hey, hey! What happened? He committed suicide. Hey! Suicide. What you talk? From the way things are happening, I am beginning to observe that all those who had a hand in the death of the Igwe are just dying. Look at Ncheta. Look at Nana. And now Ududi. Eh? Now what are we going to do? I don't know what we are going to do. But I know what I will do. If I leave you now, I run to my house, pack my things, and run to my maternal home. That's what I will do. Ubuda hapala. Mwabo. Ubuda hapala. Hey! Hey! Udmud. Udmud came here and deceived me and some elders. In killing the Ugwe, an innocent man. Udmud came here and lied to me that Mike, his brother, has so much money in America and that he will be going to America. The America would not go. Hey! I can't even stay in my house. How did I get myself involved in this in this nonsense? Hey! Nepong. It was the mood. It was the mood that deceived me. He deceived me. He deceived me. Oh, he deceived me, Norma. I joined in this bad gang. He deceived me. The killing of Igwe, an innocent man. Oh, please, please, Oh, if he, the the robbery at uh, uh, the festivals, he deceived all of us. We are causing that. Please forgive. In, in fact, he, he told me that we should we, we go to America. We will go to America and collect money from his brother's account. In America, we did not go. But now I'm sure he's in he's, he's at Abateke. In his maternal home. Free. Please. Please. Hey. Hey. No ma. No ma. Hey. 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 Oh. America. Oh. Dibia. Dibia America. Obi na Washington. Dibia America. Okalam madu okalam. Dibia America. Open an app and you're gonna come to that. Ibi America, I'm full of pussy and all my pota. Ibi America, man on for do see no pussy. Ibi America, oh Cindy, she what the fuck? Ibi America, oh puya bu 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 ya ya bayo. Ibi America, oko oh go go go, I'm full of party na bende mu omena na ifugi fen sorry. Where are you going to? Let me tell you. 
No power can use you even to stop my victory. Here, yeah. this victory is mine. Hey! Uh, honey, I want to go with you. You cannot go with me. But I'm carrying our baby. I don't even know where you're going to. And when you intend coming back, what if you don't come back soon? Who is going to take care of the baby? Listen, I should be alive before I am able to take care of the baby. Hey. Does the dead take care of babies? It's not possible. Would you? You are the head of all the wives I have here. So take care of everybody as I go and come back. <laughs> <laughs> but please, tell us where you're going to. <laughs> so that when people ask after you, you know what to tell them. Nine. 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 <laughs> Spare my life. As you can see, I've given my life to Christ. And I'll never commit evil again if you give me a second chance, please. Save my life, please. Spare it. Be good. And back it. And back it. Please. myself into eh? oh hey oh boda hapo na langu hapo oh boda hapo na langu hapo oh oh dumodu why why should he go like this eh hey Suicide last night. People are selling his house, mourning him, and you are here trying to kill yourself. Hey. Eh? What is happening? See, it was uh, Agadiwai that came out to rough. Who is Agadiwai? Agadiwai. Who is Agadiwai? Who is Agadiwai? Who is Agadiwai? Who is Agadiwai? Agadiwai Kenga. She is Spanish now, so I can't do it. And the two to the Kunal, the two Nana, and the two Udodi. The kids they were. Hey, you didn't die. I'm responsible for all the robberies going on this town, hey. especially during our Maliko festival. Hey, I'm in trouble. <laughs> hey, so the two Udodi and the two to always send us to other people. Hey, and I'm going to die. Agata. Listen to me, listen. We have to invite the entire village to come and listen to him themselves. If not, that will take will manufacture the story. Eh? He can go! He can go! Come on here! He can go! Okay, let's go, let's go! Yeah! Hey. 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 Hey.
Some joy and happiness to my life, and I want to see you happy. Oh. But while you expect me to be happy when I know I'm not gonna see you for a long time to come, yeah, no, but you, you, you got your studies, you need to be in school, and I know that. <sighs> okay, I'm just gonna be away for like a month, right? I'm just gonna go there, put you through a business, and I'll get back, and I'm gonna come be with you. And guess what? Guess what? Once I get back, I'm gonna take you to the altar. I just want to hug you and hug you. I don't know the next time I'll see you to hug you. Oh, I'll miss you. And you make sure you be a good girl in school, all right? Take your studies seriously, all right? I'm sorry about the motor, his death. Oh, no, it's all sorry. right. It's okay. So Modu was an asshole, so he's gone, signed up. So. All right, so school now, when I go back to school. Today? Today? Okay, fine. So you just send me out to the airport and then you sign up. stay here any longer and waste my life. I, I have to go back to my father's house and, and make myself valuable. Maybe I could remarry again. Who knows? I can't waste my life any longer here. I'm sorry. Take care of yourself. What kind of life is this? But... I'm carrying his baby. What am I going to do? I'm... I think I have to leave too. Did you have to stay here and take care of your baby? No. No, I can't stay. No. I can't stay and have our baby. No, it's not possible. It's better for me to go back to my late father's house and have the baby there. I can't stay here. Washington, 
na na banyo go na komputa Ibi Amerika Amu loku si ya no no apota Ibi Amerika Manu fodu si no posega Ibi Amerika Osindi chie what the fuck Ibi Amerika Opu ya bu 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 ya ya bayo Ibi Amerika Oko Oko koko Apo no pati na bende muo omenana Ifu gife sorry Washington, Ibi America, Okalama do Okalamo, Ibi America, Omena na banyo go na komputa, Ibi America, Amu loku si ya no no apota, Ibi America, Manu fodu si no posega, Ibi America.